we have gained enough knowledge about the heart muscles, the arrangement of blood vessels through the heart, how heart works, how it functions, what heart is all about. Now let us talk about heartbeat. First of all, we would see its origin and then we are going to see its conduction, how it is conducted with respect to the heart function that is the systole and diastole that we talk about in heartbeat and heart sounds that we uh, study. Talking about origin, from where the heartbeat originates, the uh, heartbeat itself if we have to define it, it is a continuous impulse that is being generated. It is being generated at a specific site. That impulse generation is such, it is continuous and it is such, so that the contraction and relaxation of heart chambers in a specific sequence takes place. Now, what is that sequence? In the conduction, we study that the first step is atrial systole. Second is ventricular filling. Third is ventricular systole and last one is joint diastole or we would call it ventricular diastole. Now, these are the four sequential steps in which the conduction of heartbeat has to take place and the impulse is generated in such a manner and it is passed through the heart chambers and heart itself in such a way that this sequence is maintained and pumping of the blood through the heart takes place continuously. Now, how is it conducted? It is conducted by a highly specialized excitatory and conductive system. When I call excitatory, please remember it is self-excitatory. The excitation does not come from the neural system. It is self-excitatory system and the specialized system that is conductive system which is present. So, there would be some excitatory cells which would be present self-excitatory. They would not need neural signals and once that excitation has started in the form of impulse, that impulse has to radiate through the heart completely that would be conducted out by a conductive system. Now, when we talk about all these systems, they would be uh, muscle fibers, not the nerve fibers, they would be muscle fibers that we are talking about. And what is the uh, system, exact system, it is present. First thing that we have to remember is SA node. SA node stands for sinoatrial node. And this SA node is also known as pacemaker. Now, where this SA node is located, it is uh, located in the upper lateral side of right atrium. This is the pacemaker of the heart. You might have heard that uh, the person got uh, a surgery for uh, insertion of a pacemaker. This pacemaker plays an important role in the heart. It is required for the generation of impulse. That is what when I was talking that it is self-excitatory, the bunch of uh, fibers which are self-excitatory, they are flat fibers uh, around 3 mm in diameter. That that is the SA node from where the impulse generates. Then we have internodal pathways. Now, as the name suggests, internodal, that means there would be another node which, which would be present and from SA node, the pathway would generate and take the signal to the other node, which is that other node? That is AV node. AV node is also present in atria itself, that is right atrium I am talking about. It stands for atrioventricular node. Now, as the name suggests, there would be uh, the location of this node would be somewhat near the ventricles as well. So, this is the atrioventricular node. We have two nodes. The first one is SA node. Between the two nodes, we have internodal pathways. Then we have AV node. Then we have AV bundle which arises from the AV node itself and passes in the interventricular septum. We are going to understand it. Interventricular septum has the AV bundle and this AV bundle then bifurcates into the Purkinje fibers that are present in the ventricular walls. Now, this uh, AV bundle is also known as the nodal tissue, the nodal uh, bundles which arise. They are also known as bundle of his. Some authors represent it, uh, Purkinje fibers in bundle of his. Some represent the AV bundle itself in the nodal tissue and the branches that arise out of the AV node as bundle of his. Now, let us see the 
heart structure and then see how this heartbeat is conducted, the, how the conduction of heartbeat takes place. Now, uh, we have right auricle and the right ventricle, then we have the left atrium and the left ventricle, somewhere like this. This is what a typical heart looks like. We have been drawing that heart shape somewhat our heart is like that only. I would use one color only for the representation. This is what a typical heart looks like. This part is the interventricular septum. This is uh, this outlining that I am representing that is for the musculature that I want to show. This is the ventricle, this is another ventricle, this is the atrium. Over here we would have a chamber that has, this would be the valve which connects the atrium through the ventricle. This would be the artery that arises from here. Over here also we will have the same valve that connects the and another artery is arising. Just for representation I have used this just to make you understand that over here we are having septa and valves which are present for the pumping of blood. Now, uh, Clearly, this is the right atrium, this is the right ventricle, this would be the left atrium and this would be the left ventricle. Now, uh, see what was the conductive system that was present. In the conductive system, we had SA node which I told you was present on the upper lateral side of the right atrium towards the right part. Now, this SA node, it is the arrangement of muscle fibers where the, um, the composition of the fibers is such that if supposedly this is an SA node fiber, there is lot of sodium ion in the extracellular fluid and there are gated channels. When the impulse has to start, this uh, sodium gated channel, the gated channels, they open up and there is an inflow of sodium ions inside it which generates a potential. Now, that potential would move further. There is uh, the second point. This is the SA node. The second conductive part was the internodal fibers or the pathways that we talked about. There are internodal pathways. Now, you have an idea that this is the arteries that we are talking about. So, I am going to uh, rub them so that we simply see the conductive part basically that we deal with. This is the septum. Over here we are going to find the AV node which is connected by the internodal pathways which are again muscular tissues which have the impulse which was generated from the SA node that impulse begins to get transmitted and it comes to the AV node. In the AV node we have another uh, excitatory cells which are which receive the signal from SA node. Now, what this AV node does is that there is AV bundle which arises from here. There are two AV bundles which begin from here and they move towards the ventricles where because the ventricular musculature is quite thick and dense it breaks up into Purkinje fibers. So, we have Purkinje fibers over here. We have this is AV bundle as we wrote over there and these Purkinje fibers are in the pres uh, are present in the ventricular va walls. This AV bundle is present in interventricular septum. As you can see, the septum separates the right ventricle, uh, 
and the left ventricle. So, this part receives the deoxygenated blood. Now, we are going to see it in terms of the conduction that takes place. Now, what happens in atrial systole? Over here, there is supply of uh, deoxygenated blood that comes from here. This deoxygenated blood, it gets collect collected in the right atrium. It gets collected for some time and what happens? SA node begins this, there is sodium inflow in uh, the fibers, inside the fibers and an impulse is generated. That impulse when it gets starts generated in point uh, at the speed of 0.3 meter per second, it reaches the AV node and it spreads through and through the left atrium because there is a musculature which provides the supply of the impulse to the left atrium as well. Those are the internodal pathways and apart from the internodal pathways, the AV node gives rise to the AV bundles which spread in the L, uh, left atrium as well. Now, this SA node has started the impulse with the speed of 0.3 meter per second. It reaches the AV node. From AV node, it has to pass to the ventricle ventricles for the ventricular systole. Now, what is systole? Systole is basically contraction and this entire process has to take place within 0.8 seconds. Our heartbeat lasts for 0.8 seconds and the sounds that we hear, they are for the closing of the respective valves. In first case, we have the atrioventricular valves which get closed and in the second case, we have the loud sound which, uh, which is the closing of the atrial valves which are uh, semilunar valve of aorta. Now, uh, we have the atrial systole which begins as soon as SA node starts the impulse. Apart from the passive falling of the blood into the ventricles, the SA node starts a contraction wave which spreads throughout the atrium. When the atrium contract, the remaining percentage of the blood that also falls into the ventricle. In the meantime, as uh, this is spreading at a very fast rate, it has reached the ventricles as well. It is spreading out through the ventricles by Purkinje fibers and bundle of his. Now, this spreading causes the contraction of ventricles as well. Now, in the meantime, when this spreading is, uh, when this contraction is spreading out, what has happened? This contraction has completed, these valves have closed and the ventricular contraction would take place. Would take place. Now, we have atrial systole which began due to SA nodes contra uh, impulse generation that spread out in both the atria by AV node. Then there is ventricular filling that takes place due to that contraction and as soon as that filling has completed, there is closing of the atrioventricular valves. The valves which are present, bicuspid and tricuspid valves which are present in the heart, uh, these uh, interatrial valves, the, the inter atrioventricular valves which are present that is bicuspid and tricuspid valves they close so that there is no backflow of blood into the atria then there is ventricular filling that has been completed as soon as the ventricular filling has completed the impulse has spread throughout the ventricular muscles and the ventricular systole begins that is the contraction of ventricles now because these valves are closed and the contraction is taking place because of the ventricular filling where the blood would go it would go into the open spaces and the open spaces because the contraction is quite higher than the atrial pressure. Atrial pressure which is present inside the pulmonary artery and the sorry not uh, yeah pulmonary artery and the aorta the pressure that is present that is lesser as compared to that created by contraction and the blood continuously flows into them. Now, in order to avoid that backflow, what happens is the valves of those atria, uh, those arteries, they also close and there is the second heart, heart sound that is generated and the ventricular systole is completed. Now, the ventricles wait for next wave to come, wave of contraction to come. The meantime, in the meantime, there is a relaxation in both atria and ventricles and that particular part is known as joint diastole. So, these are the four steps in the conduction of heartbeat. We are going to repeat it. First of all, it started from SA node. Heart is in the stage of rest. Both atria and ventricles, they are in the stage of rest. The water, uh, the blood is filling inside the atria because of its pressure and it is falling because the valves are open into the ventricles as well. As much as 70% of the filling takes place in this way, that is passive filling. Now, what happens is that SA node starts the impulse which spreads to both right atrium and left atrium by the agency of AV node and AV bundles. So, they 
they spread out then the contraction wave begins when the contraction wave begins the remaining part of the blood that was uh, that has collected in the atrium that passes to the ventricle and the valves close now in the meantime this av has passed the wave of contraction to the ventricular muscles as well by the agency of purkinje fibers that take up the contraction wave and spread it out in the ventricles now that ventricular contraction would be what about in the ventricles ventricular systole the contraction is brought about in such a way so that the blood flows into the semi lunar into aorta and pulmonary vein so that it is taken to the lungs and the systemic circulation accordingly and then there is a stage when both the atrium and the ventricles they are in a stage of relaxation until the next impulse is generated by the flow of sodium ions inside the fibers of sa node so this is the entire process of conduction we have seen how it originates and how it is conducted throughout the heart again it is a, a matter of potential only that is being generated and passed throughout the muscles of the heart so i hope now it is clear how the heart muscles are able to uh, pass on the conduction throughout themselves and uh, just one thing you have to remember that the sa node is self excitatory it is the concentration of of sodium ions in the extracellular fluid which plays an important role for beginning this conduct uh, contraction and it does not depend upon the neural system for beginning the